To get the most out of your iPhone and your DJI gimbal, you'll need to use multiple camera apps. In this video, I'll show you when to use the DJI Mimo, the Apple camera, the Blackmagic camera, and Final Cut camera apps to get professional looking results. The most important fact you need to know up front is that gimbal stabilization and most of the gimbal controls, like the joystick, work just fine with all non-DJI camera apps. The gimbal doesn't need to talk to the camera app to perform stabilization, so it will even work if you don't have any camera apps running at all. You will need to film with the DJI MIMO app if you want to employ tracking, and you have to use it to calibrate and change gimbal settings. Don't worry, you can use all the apps with the gimbal, just one at a time. If you want to use Apple's cinematic mode, you must use the Apple Camera app. Yes, not even Apple's Pro Final Cut app supports cinematic mode. Less important because you would rarely use them with a gimbal are the night mode time lapses and action mode. They're only supported on the Apple Camera app. So this is action mode with the camera mounted backwards on the gimbal. And uh, you can't do this with Mimo. You can only do this with the native app because uh, Mimo goes crazy. If you mount the camera backwards, it loses its brain and tries to tries to center the gimbal. And uh, of course it, it can't because everything's backwards. If you have an iPhone 15 or later, you cannot use Mimo to film Apple Log, but all three of the other apps support it. If you happen to be an Apple Watch owner, you should know that both the Apple Camera and DJI Mimo apps allow you to control and preview your framing with your watch. Mimo also allows you to control the gimbal from your watch. Neither the Blackmagic nor Final Cut apps will work with your Apple Watch at all. If you want to use an iPad to control and sync multiple iPhone cameras, both the Blackmagic and Final Cut camera apps can do this. The Blackmagic control app for your iPad is free, but the Apple Final Cut Pro app that's needed to control remote cameras is a paid subscription. The DJI MIMO app has a serious problem that 4K 60 frames per second recordings are jittery. Their stabilization doesn't work at that high resolution and frame rate, but the other three apps are just fine at 4K 60, so I don't know what's wrong with the DJI developers. If time lapses are your thing, you should know that MIMO and the Blackmagic apps can do them in 4K. But if you want HDR, you'll have to use the Blackmagic app. If you want to do motion time lapse where the gimbal slowly pans across the scene, you have to use Mimo to do that. Not many videographers use a gimbal for slow motion, but if you want frame rates over 60 frames per second, you'll have to use Mimo or the Apple Camera app. Of course, if you want total manual control over your iPhone video camera, it's tough to beat the Blackmagic app. You can rest assured that it will work just fine with your DJI gimbal. You'll just need to pop over to the DJI Mimo app from time to time for calibration or to change gimbal settings. If you absolutely need tracking, but Mimo is missing a critical piece for you, like cinematic mode, Apple Log, or 4K60, then you have no choice but to use a gimbal that has an independent tracking camera, like one of the Hohem iSteady units, because the tracking on them is totally independent of the camera app, whereas with the DJI Osmo gimbals, much of the tracking logic is in the DJI Mimo app on the iPhone itself. The folks at Insta360 are taking a new tack and supporting the Dock Kit API from Apple, 
which means their new FlowPro gimbal will track subjects when used with Apple's camera apps. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out, as this is an iPhone-only solution and won't work on Android. That's it for today. I hope this video was helpful for you to get the most out of your DJI Osmo gimbal. And if it was, please click like or subscribe down below. Take care.